Chris Ariola versus Seth Mitchell. If Seth Mitchell had a chin, I would pick him to win this fight outright. Mitchell, I think he's got much longer arms than Ariola. I ain't talking about reach. I'm talking about arm length. I think he's got, by looking at him, he has a lot longer, much longer arms than Ariola. And Mitchell does actually have decent boxing skills when he decides to stick and move. I mean, nothing amazing. You know, he ain't Muhammad Ali. But I think he does have good enough boxing skills to um, outpoint Chris Ariola. You know, if he had a chin, like I said, he'd be able to stick and move and, you know, pull off the, the kind of tactics that Bermain Stavern and uh, Thomas Adamek, you know, used to beat Ariola. Um, Stavern obviously stood his ground a bit more than Adamek. Adamek ran, a, uh, you know, more. Uh, but Stavern had, the, Stavern had the power to do that. And uh, Mitchell has the power to do that. You know, he don't hit like Bermain Stavern. Don't get it twisted. Bermain Stavern is a much better puncher than... Uh, Seth Mitchell, but Seth Mitchell is a lot better on his feet than Bermain Stavern. You know, Bermain Stavern really plods around the ring, whereas Seth Mitchell is a lot lighter on his feet and moves a lot quicker around the ring. And, you know, one thing which might be a factor in this fight is how big the ring is, because when Ariola fought Stavern, it was in a very small ring. Um, you know, if, if Seth Mitchell fights Ariola in a ring the same size as the one Ariola fought Stavern in, then uh, Seth Mitchell has no chance, right? Little to no chance. But if it's a bigger ring, you know, Seth Mitchell can get on his bike and use his longer arms and, you know, maybe try and drop a couple heavy shots in there to keep Ariola honest. He might be able to pull, pull it off. But his chin has looked so bad, um, not just in his loss to Jonathan Banks, but also in the rematch, he was shaken Anytime Banks landed anything like a, a clean shot, a half clean shot, Seth Mitchell was hurt. And uh, prior to his loss to Jonathan Banks, he was shaken up very badly in a Chaz Witherspoon fight. So, you know, his punch resistance looks pretty bad at this minute. But, you know, uh, certain things can affect punch resistance. You know, sometimes nerves can affect how, how well you take a shot. Um... Different psychological things can affect how well you take a shot. So, you know, it might be possible that we see him take a slightly better shot in this fight, but he's never going to have a cast I enjoy. You know, he's never going to be Ray Mercer. But he may turn up some nights with a bit more punch resistance. But uh, it's hard to imagine, you know, after his recent performances, it's hard to imagine his punch resistance is going to be any different. So uh, I'm going to take Chris Ariola to stop Seth Mitchell in this fight. Like I said, I think Mitchell does have the boxing skills to replicate what Bermain Stavern did. Again, I don't even, I don't even think uh, Mitchell has as good a hand skills as Bermain Stavern. I think Bermain Stavern is a lot more skillful with his hands than Seth Mitchell. He knows a lot more tricks and stuff like that. And I think he has a better boxing brain, but Stavern has better legs. You know, he can move around a lot better than Bermain Stavern. And like I say, if it was in a big ring, He'll be able to use those legs and, you know, be, be peppering uh, Ariola with shots at long range, keeping him at bay, you know. But at some stage, I just have to imagine that Ariola is going to get close enough and he is going to land some solid shots on Seth Mitchell. You know, unless Seth Mitchell can really hurt Ariola, um, you know, keep him off in a major way, then at some stage, Ariola has to get through. You know, he has to get through. But like, like I said, I, I expect uh, Seth Mitchell to try and box in this fight. I don't think he's going to come forward. He ain't going to do none of that. I'm surprised so many people thought he'd come forward in the Jonathan Banks rematch. Why would he do Why would he do the same thing twice? The thing that got him knocked out first time, he was, he was never going to do it again. He was going to try and box. So yeah, he's going to try and box in this fight. He's definitely going to look at the Stavern tape and say, yeah, I'm going to try and do the same thing. Um... And I think he may have some success with it. We might even see Seth Mitchell up in this fight by a few rounds. But, you know, I'm, and, and he may win the fight. You know, I'm not, I'm, I'm not discounting his um, ability to win the fight completely. But I just feel his chin has looked so bad that at some stage you would imagine Ariola is going to get through with some clean shots and he's going to take this guy out. And Ariola ain't going to do, be like Jonathan Banks. He ain't going to stand off and, 
let Mitchell off the hook. You know, the first time he sees he sees Mitchell hurt, he's gonna be all over him. You know, and he's not he's not gonna give him no space to breathe. He's gonna he ain't gonna give him no time to recover. He's gonna be all over him. The only thing I would say is that in the rematch with Jonathan Banks, from what I can remember, and again I I think I only watched the fight once, but from what I can remember. The only time, or, or the times when Mitchell did get hurt is, is when he tried to exchange with Jonathan Banks, all right? When he, when, he, when he got a little bit ambitious and he tried to mix it up, those were the times when he got hurt. Um, you know, in this fight, I, I, I can only imagine that he will not be trying to exchange at all with Chris Ariola. that his game plan is going to be stay the hell away, don't even get involved in anything, in any exchanges, you know, that has to be his game plan if he's got any sense. Uh, if he if he stands there and exchanges with Chris Ariola, I mean, you know, maybe he's got the power to hurt Ariola, uh, but Ariola definitely has the power to hurt him and knock him out. You know, Ariola's not a huge puncher, but he has decent power. And um, judging by Mitchell's last few fights, he definitely has enough power to knock Seth Mitchell out. So, yeah, I'm, I'm going to take Chris Ariola to win this fight by knockout but I wouldn't be surprised if Mitchell won it to be honest with you and I wouldn't be surprised if we see Mitchell maybe ahead before uh if Ariola does knock him out um I wouldn't be surprised to see Mitchell ahead before Ariola gets the knockout because like I said Mitchell with his legs he can move around quite well and uh you know stick a jab and stuff like that and mess Ariola around for a little bit but I think eventually Ariola probably catch him and that's when we're going to see Seth Mitchell go down. But, you know, you know, you never know, man. Maybe Mitchell has improved his defense and what have you. We'll have to wait and see. So, yeah, leave your comments in the comment section below. Let me know how you feel about this fight. This is Hatman. I'm up.